So what we're doing is just casting across this current and just working it like normal. Oh, it's good. good jumper. <laughs> Another big old, oh, lost him. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, in today's adventure, we're headed back out to the old mud hole, St. Anna River Lakes. Make sure you stay tuned to the very end. I uh, always do a debrief at the end, tell you what's working and what wasn't, and go over everything that happened in the video. So let's see how we did. Cheese spoon. It's a big bass. Oh, it's a big bass. Nice size bass. Good size bass. Yeah. I don't need the net. Yeah, springtime fishing. spawning there we go good sized bass oh, that morning glory Another big old, oh, lost him. <laughs> big old bass. Another big bass. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he's feisty, but I don't think he's a toad. You don't feel heavy. You got your here? Yeah. Yeah, you can talk freely. <laughs> Got him on that morning glory. It's a nice fish. Yeah. It's a silver one. It's a holdover. It's a holdover? Yeah. See how their their colors aren't as vibrant? Yep. Yeah, he's been in the oh he's got a hump back too. Oh he's a couple pounder. Yeah. Nice Agreed. fish. Real nice fish. There we go. Nice couple pounds. Yeah, nice size. Come here, dummy. Beautiful. Yep. There you go, on that morning glory. <laughs> Just got bit at the same time. Looks like they like red. Nice fish. Yep. There you go. Off. That red rooster tail. Red rooster tail. Nice. That krill. Oh, it's good. Good jumper. <laughs> Beautiful. Get out of here, pelican. Nice 
Same for you. So they're right here, school's right here. Huh? Nah, I'll be all right. It's a nice size one. Yeah, right there on that krill. Yeah. Junkie bro. All right, guys, show you what we're doing out here. As you can see, this is the intake. Uh, I normally don't fish here, but what's different today is it's flowing, but the current's not very strong because normally in this area, uh, it's flowing so hard that the uh, the current you can't hardly bait and wait in here uh throwing jigs or anything else it'll uh, uh pull your baits all over the place so what we're doing is just casting across this current and just working it like normal whether it's a spoon or a or a mini jig just nice slow retrieve and uh every once in a while the trout seem to move on this side of the current and uh you'll get a get a little bit of attention so uh just keep doing it and see if we can get some out Big Nate. Hell yeah. First time ever on a... Castmaster? Right on, bro. Oh, it's a nice size one. There you go. Real nice size one. Oh, yeah. right here, too. Yeah. Right on, bro. Get some more of that. Blue and white spoon. Oh, beautiful. Nice fish. Yep. Yeah. Oh, spit oh. it. Skilled oh. release. Yep. Quick release. Yep. There you go. That was a spoon. A little three gram. Let's see if we can get smoke. All right, ladies and gents, there you have it. Uh, good times at the old mud hole. Uh, definitely uh, springtime trout fishing. Uh, really. Uh, probably my favorite time of, of year to trout fish. Uh, the trout get real aggressive. Um, for some reason, the water warms up a little bit. It doesn't get too hot for them, but it kind of gets in that, what I like to call the sweet spot. And uh, they really start hitting spoons. They really start hitting the jigs uh, a lot harder. Um, that's why uh, I start going up to Gregory, Green Valley opens up, uh, Big Bear, and even the mud hole. I uh, start seeing me use a lot more spoons because they, they, those trout get a lot, uh, a lot more aggressive uh, and really start going after that. Also jerk baits. I'll be using a lot more of those, uh, those jerk baits as well. But today it was, it was simply a matter of finding them. Uh, we, we moved around the lake several different spots until we, uh, we got to the, uh, the inlet in the main lake and, and, uh, found out the current wasn't too strong. It was kind of just, just right. And, uh, a lot of trout were swimming around in that area. Um, usually they are, they're always over there, but, uh, usually the current's so strong, you can't get down to where they are. The current will pull your bait or your jig or your, your spoon uh, way beyond where the trout are sitting. Uh, uh, so it's much harder to fish. But uh, uh, on this day, it was uh, was great to fish. And, and the trout would kind of move out for a little bit and move to one side or the other the current. And uh, uh, as you saw probably in the video, uh, there was a couple double hookups. We didn't get uh, uh, double landings, but we got a lot of double hookups because school would come by, see our baits, and boom, they would hit it instantly. So it's something to, to watch for. Uh, uh, just because they stop stocking trout at our local lakes does not mean they're in there. They don't automatically go away. Uh, what happens is the crowds go away. So you can go to a lot of these lakes and have real good days, uh, usually up until uh, the end of June. Uh, almost all the lakes, uh, the, the fish will survive usually that long unless it gets super, super hot, but it, it doesn't seem like it's going to. Uh, so it's always worth a try going to the mud hole, going out to uh, Prado, some of the county lakes uh uh and and doing some trout fishing they're still in there yeah i guarantee you and uh, uh uh some good size ones too so uh, uh it's always worth a try and if you want any of the golden state fishing custom baits i use uh there will be a hyperlink in this video's description as well as the qr code up here in the corner uh if you make a purchase type in code c spanker at checkout and you get 10 percent off uh, likewise with the rha spoons there's also a hyperlink in this video's description as well as the qr code 
Uh, if you type in code get hooked at checkout, you get 10% off. And uh, the Waterland sunglasses I use and, and absolutely love now, uh, the good people over there have, have given me a discount code. If you type in code CSPANKER at checkout, you get 15% off your purchase. Um, there's a hyperlink in the video's description as well as the QR code up here. So, uh, so make sure you check them out. Excellent, excellent products or, or I wouldn't use them. So with that, uh, uh, like I said earlier in the video, it's springtime fishing. So uh, going to be heading up to Green Valley, uh, Gregory. Uh, still want to get out to Hemet. Uh, oh, also the Sierras are open now. Uh, uh, the lakes are icing off uh, more and more each day. Uh, so definitely going to head up there soon. Uh, so lots of, lots of things, lots of trout to catch. So, uh, so I will see you guys out there. Tight lines.